Movie producer Devon Franklin has worked on some of the industry's most successful and inspirational projects, including the blockbuster remake of the classic tale, Annie. He's also the author of the best-selling book, Produced by Faith. Devon's own life reads like a Hollywood script. His story began with a tragic loss when he was only nine years old. I read an article that you did in God Coast about your uh -huh. father dying. Tell me about the impact that had on you as a child. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it was, uh, it was uh, devastating. You know, as, as a nine-year-old child and a middle child of three boys, uh, my father passed away at the age of 36 from a heart attack. You now, he had been an alcoholic and, uh, you know, had done a lot of damage to his heart just through smoking and drinking and just kind of, you know, living a, you know, really uh, difficult life. Um, and it was hard, you know, at nine years old to lose, you know, your parent. And, uh, you know, through most of my upbringing, he was kind of in and out. Um, you know, he started drinking as a way to kind of keep up on the job and really started drinking socially and didn't realize that through drinking, it was going to ignite in him a disease. Uh, his father, you know, my grandfather had struggled with it as well. Some of his brothers had dealt with it. So I don't think he realized the magnitude of what that drinking socially was ultimately gonna to do to his life. After his father passed away, Devon says he was angry. However, he found positive outlets to channel his frustration. Um, my uncle, who is also my pastor, uh, you know, from Oakland, California, he started a ministry the same year that my father had passed away uh, in East Oakland called Wings of Love Maranatha Ministries. And being involved in that, that church at a young age really helped me. You know, I think it really helped save me because I had a positive outlet to deal with all of the emotions. Also movies and entertainment, uh, you know, really helped me because I could watch stories like Rocky or, you know, Back to the Future or, you know, different things like a different world on TV. And I could see images that would really help me say, hey, well, if they can make it, I can make it too. And also, you know, being involved in school, you know, I was involved in student government. So these things really helped save my life, you know, along with God's intervention uh, through all of these ways, because, you know, losing a, a parent at that age is, is devastating. And one thing I read that you said you were very driven, but your, your, your drive was based in fear for a long time, fear that you would end up mm -hmm. the same way. How did you go from being driven from fear to being driven by faith? You know, as you grow up, you're trying to just find stability. And so when you lose a parent, that stability, you know, to a degree is taken from you. So there is a great deal of fear. You know, am I gonna be okay? And then as I got older and began to mature, when I began to realize, you know, especially as I got more into the word, you know, that's really about faith, you know, and having and believing God, you know, and that even through tragedy, you know, the Bible says that, um, all things work together for the good of those that love him and are called according to his purpose. And so the more I began to understand, you know, what God's requirement of me was and his plan for my life, you know, it began to, I began to understand about faith. Oh, okay. So if I believe God at his word and I walk in faith, you know, amazing things not only will happen, they can happen and they do happen. So I want the very best of what God has to, to, to offer and what he, his original intention for my life. That is the thing that I want. So I began to choose that out of a place of power and a place of confidence in him. And the more that I choose that, and as I got older saying, you know, I'm not gonna not drink because I'm afraid I'm becoming an alcoholic. No, I'm not drinking because that's not what I want. Mm. I don't want that. I don't want, it's not, at the end of my life, I'm not gonna be worried about what drinks I didn't have, <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, but, but heaven forbid I did take a drink and I missed something that God may have had for me. I don't want that. So I'm choosing out of a place of power, out of confidence, of faith, trusting and believing in God's plan for my life, knowing that in choosing that, I can never fail because in Him, I will achieve and do everything He called for me to do. I heard you speak at a Christian conference, media conference yeah. a few months ago. Yeah. And you were talking about how you left, was it Sony Pictures or Columbia? Yes, yeah, Sony Pictures, the umbrella for Columbia yeah. Pictures. Left Sony Pictures to start your own production company. And I was thinking, Lord, that is some serious faith right there to leave. <laughs> I mean, you didn't leave Walmart, you left uh, Sony Pictures. Yeah, yeah. That is some serious faith to step out and say, I'm going to start my own thing. What was your thought process in that? You know, my thought process was, um, it's time to get out of the boat. You know, uh, my original goal uh, as a kid was to produce movies. And uh, certainly as a studio executive, you know, you help produce movies. Um, but it was, you know, you're still working for a company. 
And so I really felt like it was time for, you know, God was saying, now's the time, Devon, you know, to go out and set up your own, you know, company and I'm with you. And so, you know, part of that process was to say, okay, God, are you really with me? Because this is a really nice boat, right? <laughs> you know, Columbia Pictures, Sony Pictures, this is a great boat. Um, and uh, following the success of Heaven is for Real, which is a movie that I was intimately involved with, uh, you know, I went into the chairman's office about two days later, sat down with her and just told her, you know, I, I love being here, but now's the time for me to start my own thing. And I, and I want you guys to help set me up. And, uh, you know, the Bible, faith without works is dead, right? The Bible says you have not because you have not, right? Life and death, power of the tongue, right? So the worst she could say is no. Um, but if she says yes, then, uh, you know, everything changes. Sony agreed to Devon's terms, and he went from being senior vice president of production to owner of Franklin Entertainment. What is the goal of Franklin Entertainment? Frank Capra, who, you know, is a Hollywood legend, uh, has a quote where he says, you know, audiences are looking for moral and spiritual reassurance. And, you know, when movies can provide that, then they will be successful. Uh, but when they can't, in essence, what he is saying is that those movies won't really serve a purpose. And so I really believe in that quote. You know, I do believe that content that can provide reassurance and can also be great entertainment experiences. You know, it's really about how we can you know, use this opportunity in entertainment to really bring change to the world. Uh, I believe it's an powerful medium. I believe it's an important medium. And I believe that, you know, audiences can still come to the theater, you know, eat their popcorn, have their soda, and still have a movie that's going to, you know, make them laugh and cry and make them feel better about life and also about God's plan for their life.